I am going to deliver my presentation on the topic of types of nuclear reactions. There are various types of nuclear reactions. A nuclear reaction may be classified in different ways depending upon bombarding particle and its energy or target such as charged particle reactions produced by incident particle neutron reactions photonuclear reaction produced by gamma rays electron induced reactions the energies are classified as thermal nearly equals to 0 0.025 electron volt epithermal nearly equals to 1 electron volt slow neutron nearly equal to 1 kilo electron volt fast neutrons nearly equals to 0.1 to 10 mega electron volt low energy charge particles nearly equals to 0.1 to 10 mega electron volt and high energy charge particles in between 0.1 to 100 mega electron volt. The targets called light nuclei, which is mass number is less than or equals to 40. Medium weight nuclei, we have to range in between the 40 and 150. And the heavy, we have to consider as uh, mass number is always greater than or equals to 150. Now, there are various types of nuclear reactions we can study in this uh, presentation. The first of all, the type of nuclear reaction is the scattering reaction. In the scattering reaction, the incident particle and target nucleus are same. Basically, scattering, nu uh, scattering nuclear reactions divides into two categories. One is elastic scattering and other is inelastic scattering. First of all, we can see how elastic, elastic scattering get uh, produced the nuclear reaction. When the incident particle strikes the target nucleus and leaves without any energy loss of there is no loss or gain of energy of the incident particles generally the direction of incident particle changes that means scattering of alpha particles when it's incident on the gold foil is one of the good example of the elastic scattering that means what that means the incident particle we have to consider the alpha particle is incident on the gold foil then what happens there is no loss or gain of energy of the alpha particle as well as the gold foil but alpha particle gets scattered. The nuclear reaction can be represented as, see here, Au is a gold, helium is an alpha particle. When the alpha particle incident on the gold foil, then there is no loss or gain of energy of the incident par particle as well as target nuclear. Such types of nuclear reactions are called as elastic scattering nuclear reactions. Okay, then next type of nuclear reaction is a uh, Inelastic scattering. In this type of nuclear reaction, the scattered particle may lose the kinetic energy. This results in the increase of internal energy of target nucleus, which gets excited to higher in a high quantum state. This in a inelastic scattering can be represented by well known example. Now we have to consider here is the uh, hydrogen is a incident particle and lithium is a target nuclei then the hydrogen atom incident on the lithium then there is the loss of the kinetic energy and increase the internal energy of lithium loss of the kinetic energy of hydrogen then what happens internal energy goes on increases in the form of kinetic energy of the target nuclei that is lithium that can be represented by star that star indicates the lithium is in the excited state. 
lithium in this condition lithium uh, is in the excited state or higher quantum state. Such types of nuclear reactions are uh, known as the inelastic scattering nuclear uh, reaction. This is very interesting nuclear one of the type of nuclear reaction. There is a uh, uh, incident uh, nuclear transmission energy to increase the kinetic energy internal energy as, as the kinetic energy of uh, lithium and then this lithium comes in its uh, upper energy uh, upper, upper energy state that is the quantum state. Such types of nu nuclear types of reaction is called as inelastic scattering nuclear reaction. Then another type of nuclear reactions we have to see in here that is direct reactions. There are two types of direct reactions namely pickup reaction and stripping reactions. That means direct reactions that is one of the type of uh, nuclear reactions. Basically this uh, type of nuclear reactions divides into two categories that one is the pickup nuclear reaction and other is the, the stripping uh, nuclear uh, reaction. The first of all we see here a pickup reaction. A collision of an incident particle with the nucleus may immediately pull one of the nucleons out of the target nucleus is called as pickup reaction. This is very interesting and uh, very easy to understand type of nuclear reaction. Where is the hydrogen is a incident particle and oxygen is a target nuclear. When the hydrogen incident on the oxygen then what happens? Then the oxygen loss his uh, mass number by 1 and absorb to the hydrogen. Incident particle absorb the particle, absorb the one nucleon from the target nuclei. That means hydrogen absorb the nucleon, one nucleon from the target nuclei. Which is the target nuclei here? Oxygen is the target nucleus. Oxygen is the target nuclei. Oxygen, hydrogen absorb the one nucleon from the target nuclei then what we get then we get oxygen that is loss is one nucleon that is 15 mass number is 15 and increasing increasing one nucleon in hydrogen this such types of uh, nuclear reaction is called as a pickup nuclear reaction then another, uh, another type of direct reaction is the stripping reactions a bombarding particle composed of more than one nucleon men lost one of them to the target called stripping reaction. The, for example, we have to see in here copper and deuteron. Deuteron is the incident uh, particle. When the incident particle incident on the target nuclear that is copper, then what we get? Then Vice versa from the pickup reaction, the reverse process in the pickup reaction, in the stripping reactions. Here we can see the target nuclear absorb the one nucleon from the incident particle. That means uh, after the collision, what we say that Cu increases one nucleon because it can absorb the one nucleon from the incident particle that means from deuteron. This is the very uh, simple and interesting type of nuclear reaction. That nuclear reaction is uh, called as the stripping type nuclear reaction which is included in the direct reactions. Now we can see the another type of uh, nuclear reaction is called as disintegration. On striking the target the incident particle is absorbed a different particle is ejected. The product nucleus differs from target nucleus such types of nuclear reaction is called as disintegration. The typical reaction of this type is uh, taken here as like uh, helium is an incident particle which is incident on the target nuclear that is nitrogen. Then what we observed here, 
we uh, after the incident after the collision the in the product we have to see different element we have to see different element with its uh, mass number and atomic number changes when the incident particle is incident on the target nuclear then we can observe the different in the product we have to observe the different element that means the product nucleus differ from the target nucleus such types of nuclear reactions we have to known as the disintegration type of nuclear reactions here we can see in this reaction when helium is incident on the nitrogen in the product we have to observe the different element that is oxygen its mass number is a uh, 17 and its atomic number is 8 with the hydrogen we have to observe the in, uh, we have to observe different elements in the product such types of nuclear reactions are known as the disintegration type of nuclear reaction then next type of the nuclear reaction is photo disintegration the gamma ray are absorbed by the target nucleus existing it to a higher quantum state if the energy is high enough one or more particles may be liberated example for example we have to see here gamma particle incident on the hydrogen atom then what we observe then the product is the hydrogen plus nitrogen that means gamma ray are absorbed by the target nucleus Exc exciting it to higher quantum state exciting into higher quantum state that hydrogen uh, comes in its higher quantum states if the energy is high enough one or more particles may be liberated as like this that means hydrogen and nitrogen get liberated hydrogen and nitrogen get liberated such types of nuclear reactions we have to called here uh, photo disintegration nuclear type reaction then next type of nuclear reaction is spontaneous decay beta and alpha decay process may be regarded as this the excitement's control that means in this reactions we have to observe there are two types of uh, reactions basically we have to observe uh, we have to see in here two types alpha decay as well as beta decay see here thorium spontaneously emits the radium as well as helium radium as well as helium that means thorium is a high nucleus splits into two light nuclei that is radium and helium that means spontaneously thorium get Uh, disintegrate uh, to the another element that is radium during this uh, process it gets emit the alpha particle so it is uh, this type of nuclear reaction is also known as alpha decay nuclear reaction that is spontaneously we have to observe the thor thorium get spontaneously emits the light element uh, as like uh, radium and helium then next we have to observe in the beta decay here is hydrogen also Uh, splits into two light nuclear hydrogen as well as electron they also get emits the beta particles that is electrons so it is the such types of nuclear reaction is also called as beta uh, decay nuclear reactions uh, then another type of nuclear reaction is spallation spallation reactions spall in this spallation reaction on the capture of an incident particle a heavy nucleus has sufficient energy for the ejection of several particles such a reaction is known as spallation reaction the example of this spallation reaction for example the nuclear fission is the in which heavy nuclear splits mainly two nuclei the one of the type of nuclear reaction is a fission reaction we have to cons we have to known with the fission reaction also we have to known as a spallation reactions when the light nuclear nitrogen incident on the uranium then we got zirconium as well as uh, tellurium such types of nuclear reaction is also known as the spallation nuclear on the capture of incident particle uh, that means uranium captured the nitrogen incident nitrogen then this heavy nucleus that is uranium has sufficient energy ejection with the several particles that means it's uh, uh, splits with uh, two light nucleus that is uh, one is the zirconium that is zr zr and 
the tellurium that is T e that with the liberation of uh, with the ejection of the energy with its uh, element several particles that is element with nitrogen also. We have to observe this palation reaction uh, with the nuclear fusion reaction is one of the type of uh, nuclear reaction. The next type of nuclear reaction is high energy nuclear reaction. In the energy range of about 150 mega electron volts palation process merges into two new kind of reactions in which new kind of particles that means mesons, strange particles are produced along with the neutrons and protons. And last type of nuclear reaction we have to observe here uh, that one is the heavy ion reactions nuclear reactions induced uh, by heavy ions that means the mass number is always greater than or equals to 120 also include conventional reaction mechanism such as coulomb excitation elastic scattering compound nucleus formation and direct re direct reactions which is also included in the heavy ion reaction this is one of the last type of nuclear reaction is heavy ion type nuclear reactions now uh, I will stop here. Thank you.